My name is Gian Alberto Bendazzi, and I came to uh, the Animateca this year because I wanted to introduce my ne new book on the world history of animation. Well, the, uh, the, the, the book is con con combined this way. Uh, there are various periods dictated by this, uh, the history of animation itself, not by the happenings around animation. And uh, the periods are shorter or longer and are richer or poorer according to the development of the animation production. Of course, at the beginning you have small, let's say, the so-called first world. In uh, Europe, United States, Japan, uh, South Africa, uh, South America, in Argentina, and uh, in uh, Australia. Then, uh, little by little, you, you uh, inflate this uh, production, and you have. Uh, I had to follow everything. So the first book, the first volume, uh, is the slimmer. The second uh, uh, volume has only two periods. The third volume has only one period, because the production is huge. It is a fact that uh, animation was a very minor. Uh, a, a craft uh, from 1908 uh, to 1928 uh, when uh, just a, a bunch of pioneers were making uh, films normally bad uh, in, in, in Europe and in the United States basically but also feature film in Argentina. The, uh, the, the, the second period is the period dictated by the in, enter in, 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 in scene of the sound. So sound creates a crisis between the first and the second uh, uh, period. So uh, the, the, the style of Walt Disney became a, a worldwide uh, respected style, imitated style, until 1951 when UPA became uh, uh, important and imitated. So it creates again a separation. From 1951 to 1960 there is a period of uncertainty and then in 1960 you have three situations. The beginning of the, of the animation festivals, the uh, beginning of the TV series, <clears throat> and uh, the, 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 uh, the attempt to make uh, feature films, animated feature films, different from the Disney ones. And also you have, possibly as much as much important as that, the state-owned uh, uh, production of uh, animated films in the uh, Soviet area which in those times uh, was a very uh, was, uh, com comprehensive of uh, Poland, uh, East Germany, and so on and so on, which had a style uh, of its own. When the, the uh, uh, Soviet Empire is, uh, is dissolved in 1991, at the same time there is an explosion of TV animation for prime time animation. For instance, The Simpsons or uh, South Park, etc., etc. So, we, this means that there is a new period that starts, and this period is the one that we are living. And you can make a history about you, about what you are living. I can make a reportage, and this is the the, the volume of, uh, the, of the collection. So, uh, I have uh, had two things that I have studied deeply in my life: animation and the comedy, the, the concept of comedy, the, why you laugh, and uh, the, the, the films that make you laugh. And uh, I, did, I realized, I, I, I studied and discovered about rather many things. But uh, the, <clears throat> many people tell me, if you study this uh, so deeply, a comic film, you don't laugh anymore. And I say, I love much more, because I, I realized how many subtleties are there. 
So the same thing with animation. When I see an animated film, it's full of surprises for me. It's uh, as fresh as the first time I saw one.